This is a fabulous question that I get asked quite a lot. My last period was at 42, now 53, and is it too late to start HRT or hormone replacement therapy? Now the NICE guidance in 2019 was updated and actually there is no end date to hormone replacement therapy. We just need to risk assess you on the benefits versus the risks of taking hormone replacement therapy consistently. And now, like I say, there is no end date. There's also hormone replacement therapy that's given systemically. So that goes throughout your whole body. And that we would have to look at your risk factors for breast cancer, your clots, endometrial cancer, and also what are the benefits of you taking it. So if you're going to take it for menopausal symptoms, which is what the recommendation is, then I start it risk assessing my patient. And if it's safe to do so, then I would definitely consider the one that's going to give you the least amount of risks. So that's going to be body identical transdermal estrogen. And watch my video on that because I explain that in quite a lot of detail. Then the most important thing is, is to protect the lining of the womb as well. So we can do that with either eutrogestan, which is micronized progesterone capsules, or what we do is we give coil or think of uh, other sort of hormones, such as progesterone type hormones that we can do to suppress the lining. Because you had your last period at the age of 42, if you start hormone replacement therapy, systemic, so that's gonna go throughout your whole body because you're having menopausal symptoms. So that could be hot flushes, night sweats, irritability, brain fog, low mood, sleep issues are affecting, palpitations, libido is affected, vulval vaginal symptoms, then that we would say, actually, you do need to consider hormone replacement therapy. What we do is that we then start it, but you could have a bleed. So it's normal three to six months to start uh, hormone replacement therapy, you might experience a vaginal bleed. Unfortunately, what we would do is just manage you at that time and adjust the dose. Then you should have a HRT review at three months, six months, and then an annual review of your HRT. And that's systemic HRT. We also have localized topical vaginal estrogen, which is this. This is an example of it. This is Vagifem. And there's a little pessary or a tablet that goes at the end. And this goes up into the vagina in order to protect you from genitourinary syndrome of the menopause. So what we do is we put it up into the vagina and you leave the capsule inside and that puts back estrogen back into the vulval vaginal tissue. So genitourinary syndrome of the menopause can happen at, again at any age and I would definitely recommend that women over the age of 40 consider going on vaginal estrogen. That protects against soreness, dryness, painful smears, painful sex, stops any episiotomy scars from splitting as well, stops from urging continence, stress incontinence and recurrent urinary tract infection. So there's a whole lot of symptoms around the pelvic floor and also the vulval vaginal area, which I definitely recommend low dose vaginal estrogen. And now we are saying that for women who are above 40 to go on 10 micrograms of Vagifem or Vagirux or a low dose estriol cream um, twice weekly at the bare minimum and lifelong. So again, like I say, depending on the type of HRT that you need, depending on what you need it for, yeah, it's never too late to start HRT. I hope that's been helpful.